Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for February 25th, brought to you today by editorial researcher Nina Whittle. In our top news story, the U.S. Senate voted 89-4 to to confirm Robert Califf as the FDA's new commissioner. Califf, who joined the agency as deputy commissioner for medical products and tobacco last February, was nominated for the post in September. Also featured, Bayer's fourth quarter sales in its healthcare unit climbed 8.6% to 5.8 billion euros, with revenue from prescription drugs rising 9.2% to 3.3 billion euros. The company noted that growth was driven by increased sales of newly launched products including Zarelto, Ilea, Stivarga, Zofigo and Adempus. In other news, Baxalta entered a deal with Precision Biosciences, potentially worth up to $1.7 billion to develop allogeneic chimeric antigen receptor T-cell therapies. The companies will develop therapies for up to six unique targets in oncology, with the first program expected to enter clinical studies in late 2017. In addition, data from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention suggests that the current influenza vaccine has decreased the risk of influenza by 59%. In comparison, the vaccine for the prior influenza season was determined to be only 23% effective. And finally, Google's artificial intelligence company DeepMind Technologies is making a push into medical technology. In partnership with the Royal Free London NHS Foundation Trust, the unit has created a piece of software that lets clinicians view medical results faster. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.